Hello, Aries, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you guys. All right, Spirit, okay, so they're already dropping cards out. I love it. Someone is sad, but they're moving on from that sadness. Five of Cups to the Six of Swords. Yeah, someone doesn't want to move on. They don't want to, like, let this situation or connection go is kind of what I'm feeling. The Four of Wands, Four of Coins, yeah, still holding on. Someone is still holding on. Hidden is the Knight of Wands, Outcome the Four of Cups. Seven of Coins. I believe this person has a lot of, like, nice memories. Could be an air sign, seven of cups, three of coins. Whatever this person is doing right now, Aries, it's like they're not happy. I feel like all they wanna do is like come back to you, come back towards you, spend time with you. They think about you, they dream about you. Um, you may have worked with this person. This may ha this may be something where they had to leave because they're working in a different state or you know different country or something like that, somewhere far from you. Yeah, this person's worrying a lot. What is this four of wands about you? There you are. So this is this person's energy and what they're thinking about is stability or relationship with you. Now you guys may be twin flames. Uh, they're still holding on. They haven't let this go. They're hoping that you haven't let it go. The four of coins being in this position. Yeah, the lovers. What is this knight of wands energy? So this is a, a matching couple. This is two people who are very passionate about each other. I like this case. So this is what I'm picking up this person. All they think about is you. They feel very heartbroken right now. Um, whether they have to go to work, there was somebody else, whatever the situation is, they're just not happy. The hidden position, which can be the challenge, I feel like they want to come back towards you very quickly. They kind of want to be reckless. They want to be, like, they don't want to really have to worry about work or anybody else. They just kind of want to blow everything off and see you. That's what I'm kind of getting here from this person's energy. I feel like whatever else is offered to them or whatever, whatever else they're doing with friends or family or, or work or whatever, it just doesn't make them happy. You guys may have had a really good time together, a really good date here, and they think about that a lot. I think they're grouchy, they're grumpy. People notice that, but they don't know why. I think that's why they come as the King of Swords. Okay. So this person is going to follow their intuition. What are they going to do? What is this telling us? Okay. Maybe show how they feel. Look at the Two of Cups. So this person may not have opened up to you. All right, so there could have been a strong attraction between the two of you, but they never acted on it, the King of Swords. You guys could have been, you may have dated online. Seven of Cups can be my online dating card. You may have been in a group setting with the Three of Coins. Whatever whatever the situation is, whether it's been a short-term, long-term relationship, I mean, it's been that long, but there's something where they're not showing who they truly are. And they want to come back towards you, but what they really need to do and what they're realizing is that they need to be more open with you. They need to show how they feel. They miss you. But it's the type of person who wouldn't say, oh, I miss you or, you know, um, I want to see you again. They suffer in silence. What else do they think about Aries? What else do they think about Aries? They find you mysterious. They may, again, dream about you a lot, think about you a lot. There's something about you that they can't get out of their mind or their head. Um, there's something like they just got to, it's like they want to know more about you. They want to get to know what you like to do. Where's your favorite place to go? Your favorite color? I mean, they already know these things and they want to know more. There's something that really intrigues them. It's with whenever the moon shows up. So there's a, a soul connection here with you. Yeah. And they like it. They like being around you. They like your confidence. You may be very mysterious. You also might have for some, somebody you may have like shown them that you were psychic or, you know, revealed something like that to them. And they were really amazed with the moon here and the six of wands. I think they feel like you're very, uh, not just confident, but independent. They like that. You like, what is this lover's energy? Six of coin, wanting to go out. Eight of wands. This person wants to plan and set a date uh, to go out. I see like a very casual date being planned. I see them coming towards you with an idea that's, um, they're going to try to keep it low key. So you like, don't say, I don't know why this person has to do this stuff. It's like they, they, everything they do is kind of hide how they're truly feeling. But I see like a low key date where it's like something like, oh, it's in the middle of the afternoon. It's no big deal. We can just, you know, go here or there. I got, I got passes. I got them for free. Did you want to go, you know, you just hang out, you know, that kind of energy, but it's not really what they're um, feeling on the inside. What's this King of Wands, the hidden energy, five of swords, five of coins, yeah, because, you know, if this person is going to act this way, this five of swords kind of energy, like they don't want you to see the truth. They want to seem like a tough guy or girl, whatever it is. They're going to end up out in the cold. And they did. So, again, maybe they act like they didn't really care about you. They're going to date other people, get under the deck they're spying. What, what are they manifesting? An offer. 
that ace of coins back under there. Your person, let me go to this deck. Your person has a lot on their mind. What is this person? Let's see, what do we need to know? You need to be patient with this person. They're afraid of pleasure or having fun or having a good time or putting it out there. This person may be very attracted to you. The extremes card is under the deck. Um, they could be extremely attracted to you. Maybe it does scare them. This person may even have been really hurt in love in the past and now they're afraid to open up again and like really live and have fun and have a good time. Sometimes also this is kind of the energy of keeping it, like I said, surface. Like instead of going really deep with emotions and feelings, they kind of want to keep it on the surface level and just have fun because they're afraid to get hurt again. I know they're attracted to you because we have the king and queen of wands here. What else would they say to Aries? What else would they say to Aries? It says, will you open up your heart again to me? You are not forgotten. This person is missing your touch. And one more, please. I'm waiting for the right time. So again, we did have the patience card. Okay, so let's do a timeline card. This one just fell out. What does your intuition feel the time frame is? That is the answer. So some of you, you already know when you're going to see this person again. You know, like there's like every like two weeks they reach out or you're not going to see them again in like four weeks because they're traveling. If you feel like there's a time frame in your mind, listen to your intuition. That's the best thing you can do. So I get like it's going to vary for everyone viewing, but I don't get like it's going to be a long time. Like it's going to be... Like you're not, you're not going to have to be waiting for like three months or six months or something like that. That's too long. The Spirit, what do you want us to know about this connection for Aries, this person? Okay. Denial and soulmate. So these two wanted to come out together under the deck is true love. Wow. So that just summarized it right there. So this person is denying their feelings for you. You're a soulmate. They love you. You're a true love here. But they don't want to admit it because, again, they're afraid. I think they're just afraid of being hurt. Um, they've been hurt in the past. I don't know how open you've been with them because the moon can also show me the six of wands. Maybe you also haven't really revealed how you feel. You've been keeping things hidden. Um, you want this to work out, but you're not going to go chase them. So they may be, I don't think they want you to chase them, but they may want a little bit more you to pursue them. Let's put it that way. Can you tell me what else they want from Aries? They're waiting. They are waiting. They're waiting for fun. Nine of cups. So the pleasure is 18, which goes down to a nine and the nine of cups. Like I always say, this is a good cards fun, but it's not like the two of cups to me. It's not like what I would base a relationship off of, but we can see in the reading this person, because what I got was like, they wanted to have more fun with you. They want to have a good time with you. They're afraid to go too deep right off the bat. I, they just want to see you again. They want to see you they want to be around you. Where do you see this going for Aries and this person? A relationship. So the hair fonts just came out. They, again, they're not telling you this. They're not showing you this, but judgment, one more, please. Ten of coins. Wow, long term. So you got the hair font and the ten of coins for a relationship for where this is going. So this person is thinking long term, you guys. They're really hiding this deep. That's interesting. Let's see, what else do they want? What else? Show me what else. What do we need to know? Okay. Okay, so addiction and hammer came out, so that's interesting. So this could be where they have the block or restraint. They're afraid of getting hurt, and so they can sa they sabotage relationships. I don't necessarily think this person has an addiction. I'm not feeling that at all. But the card does say codependent and obsession, possession, and controlling. I don't think that's it. I think it has a block, and they're restraining themselves. And they keep doing this. But they are working on it. The card says they're working on it, so... Yeah, I can, let me pull one more from this deck. That's what they're telling me. And then let me go to, um, yeah, so there's love. Sword in the Rose under the deck. So they do love you, Aries. Um, how can Aries possibly help this person to open up? How can Aries possibly help this person to open up to help this to go along a little bit better? Six of Cups. Sometimes the Six of Cups can be about like childhood, childhood wounds or something like that, going back to the past. Also, it's about a sweetness, having just having fun. Like when you're kids, you just have fun together and let the passion, let it grow over time. Also, Queen of Swords is under the deck. I feel like like not being too harsh with this person, not overthinking things. Because um, you are a very strong sign, Aries, and you do like to take control. You're good at it. But don't take that stance, I feel like, with this person. Kind of make it more light, light, 
be fun, be flirty. There's passion there. Kind of let it grow. Let's take one from this deck also. They don't want to let you go. They do love you. They want to keep this going. Um, if you feel like, you know, they have moved on, they really have not. One more please for Aries. And sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. And this is under the deck. It was under the deck with both of them. It says, I don't know what comes next. So again, expect a call, expect an invite to something very casual is what I'm picking up. Definitely say yes. Keep it light. Have fun. So I'm going to leave it here, Aries. Have a great week, you guys.